Jaya Jaya, hi gorgeous beings. I want to take a moment to glorify the mysticism and the beauty that we have as human race. It's incredible what our minds can do. It's incredible what our thoughts, what our emotions, what our feelings. You know, this body that has millions of biochemical reactions and phenomena happening all around us. I mean, it's a myriad of beautiful experiences that are going on all the time and uh, when it comes to mystical experiences and mystical intentions and mystical skills or spiritual skills there is something that i feel is like the number one almost most important thing that can potentially happen to any of us and uh, i call that future anchoring and uh, imagine that right now you could in your consciousness tune into where your life or where your humanness will be a thousand years from now so in terms of the abilities in terms of the powers in terms of the possibilities that are unleashing you know this is basically what i wish to every single person on this planet very often when we tune into um, spiritual practices we go back into the past right we go back into searching for the meaning of some sacred ancient scripture or we try to understand something that happened a thousand or two thousand years ago and that's beautiful by itself but imagine that we can do the exact same thing of future anchoring so i'm not going to give you a technique over here i'm just going to put the idea out there the idea that um, tune into the future rather than to the, into the past and see what happens tune into the possibilities that are right there ahead of you and there are certain forces certain mystical forces on this planet in the spiritual realms that are they're pulling you forward rather than pulling you backwards okay into the past and uh, when we enter into the energetic dimension into the fifth dimension and into the sixth dimension of uh, spirit and source here is the the good news it is that uh, the dimension of time and space the four dimensions right all that dissolves and we enter into a new range of possibilities where we access a whole new way of being in a whole new range of possibilities so imagine that when you live in the two dimensions you know this would be like living in a sheet of paper right but suddenly and that becomes like your in a way your prison or your limitation right these two dimensions are the space that you live in so when you enter into the third dimension suddenly you free yourself from that reality and so when you enter into the fifth or the sixth dimension um, you free yourself from the limitations of time and space it means that you can be omnipresent in theory you can be in the totality of time time is no longer a linear thing where you start in one point and then you finish somewhere you can be omnipresent in the full time range okay this is why when you meditate or you can um enter into these mystical states you can bypass the limitation of time to enter into a space that we can call eternal and so of course you know because we are embodied in a physical body and we have the five senses and so on so we are still you know functioning within that reality but the good news is that we can tap into the spiritual reality into the sixth dimension into the dimension of the spirit into the nirvanic realms into the buddhic realms and start accessing ways of looking at life or feeling or experiencing life that transcend or bypass the physical reality to enter into this uh, fifth or sixth dimension so this is really good news because what this means as well is that we can go in terms of consciousness access the possibilities that we have as human race as human beings and then start drawing that back into the present reality you know download and be oracles and and uh, visionaries about the potential that we have individually and also as human race so i believe that this is probably one of the most fundamental skills that uh, you and i can develop it is the ability to tune into the future and uh, to access what we can call the oracle power 
And uh, by doing that, then you can really start serving the planet in mankind because when uh, you see something happening, you go, hang on a sec, is this anchored into the future or is this anchored into the past? Are we traveling back into the past by doing that? Are we moving forward at high speed in our human evolution and tuning into something that doesn't exist on this planet yet, that hasn't been manifested yet? And so this is really a powerful concept or a powerful idea to think about. And uh, the good news is that we've got techniques coming up. We've got some ideas on how to navigate that and how to anchor that, how to anchor the future into the present so that this future really moves us forward as human race. Right now, this is one of the core qualities that we need as human race is to be able to see the present reality as a temporary state and then see in our visionary eyes, in our oracle power eyes, what is the potential that we are not yet accessing. Okay, I hope this idea makes sense to you. Keep it in mind. Anchor into the future rather than into the past. I love you and uh, I will see you soon.